Okay, here we are, Kanako. Me and you yeah. together on screen. Amazing. Really, yeah, amazing. <laughs> yeah. It's so lovely to yeah, see. Yeah, this you. is what we've been planning for a long time. <laughs> I know, I know. And um, we're just going to, I'll just, uh, as we allow the attendees to come in, yeah, I'll yeah. just say a little bit about the Academy of Cheese. Sure, um, yeah. We're here. This is day three of the Big Cheese Weekend. Amazing. <laughs> it has. And, you know, we've had so many people. Their events have been about stories about cheese. Yeah. There's lots of talking. And I'm yeah. hoping that lots of people were eating away. Eating cheese. cheese. That's amazing, as isn't the, it? As the presenters were mm. talking. Um, but you and I are really going to deep delve into some tasting yeah. today. Which is Fun. Fantastic. Yeah yeah which is really new world but it's been a good weekend um you and i um well you as the expert are um we're kicking off day three and we've got lots and lots of events coming up sarah appleby is doing a um a live uh, instagram live broadcast from the farm so that's Um, oh that's from farm oh that's brilliant yeah Um, wow um, looking forward to it we've got mary quick and her daughter um, Mm. are, are both doing some tastings of their cheddars so cheddars? That's, oh okay yeah. that's yeah. quite and then we've got andy swinsco who you know very well you oh, yes courtyard dairy haven't Court you dairy. yes i um, have it's just amazing they're expanding aren't they they are expanding i know it's fantastic andy is so just knowledgeable about cheese he knows everything <laughs> he does know a lot about cheese and he yeah. is um this afternoon he's finishing off with the history oh, of wow. Wednesday Dale um and oh that's exciting Dale, so that's oh be exciting. that's exciting but so anyway um, way, yeah we've got lots of people uh joined us now welcome everyone um do welcome. your questions in the chat or the questions and answers and I'll manage those because uh Kanako is going to talk and and work us through the tastings um Mm -hmm. and i will pick up any questions so do add those in the chat and if you would like to tell us where you're joining us from which country or which part of the uk that would be fabulous but welcome everybody um really pleased to have you here on a on a sunday with us afternoon (laughs) in the uk i don't know where people are from watching so but anyway okay (laughs) okay so i'm going to introduce kanako who is one of our most um hard stay partners of the academy of cheese she's been with us from the very beginning and has been so supportive and we were truly grateful to kanako because she's worked with us uh, on developing the program and developing how we work with training partners and she is one of our fantastic training partners and was the first one to to train Academy of Cheese level one as a um, in a, a language other than English. And Kanako um, sort of transported a little bit of your business during the pandemic, didn't you? Because you hadn't used Zoom or virtual before. It was all no, classroom. Just, uh, yeah. We call it pivoting, but yeah. Yeah, and then you started yeah. to be, realize that you could teach people in Japan as well. Uh, as well, yes. Yeah. Like today as well, I'm sure just as how I hope some people are just accessing from Japan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's maybe yeah. the wrong time of day. Yeah. Um, but they, <laughs> and you found a retailer in Japan that can supply people in, Which, yeah. in certain areas of Japan with the um, cheese if you want to study with Kaneko. Yeah. So, um that yeah. is just it's been brilliant we love you to bits She's thank great. you <laughs> thank you so much for supporting yeah. my business yeah so yeah Kanako, let's i'm going to make you the view i'm going to make you the speaker because you're the right. important person and um you, are. you can um let's crack on because we've got some yeah. amazing flavors that you've sent me here right. and lots of them yeah. are new to me so do start us off and tell us all about them yeah. and the cheeses too okay so just time is limited only half an hour and i want to introduce all sorts of things but welcome everyone thank you for joining us i'm kanako from Acad- well, training one of the training partners of academic cheese and obviously i look japanese and i am japanese i'm from japan and then now just I'm doing all sorts of things in cheese industry. And thank you, Tracy, for supporting my business and also my work. 
and I really appreciate it. But the main thing is I'm enjoying working in this industry itself. People are it so is. lovely. We're a yeah. friendly bunch, everybody. We're friendly, bunch. really friendly, yes. Uh, okay, so today I'm going to some introducing some really unexpected flavor, flavor pairing, cheese and food pairing, mainly Japanese food, Japanese food and drink. Some people maybe, oh, it's obvious, but for some people even don't know what they are. <laughs> so first of all, I'm, I'm going to introduce English or British cheese, Synodan Hill. The yeah. reason why I picked up this cheese is obvious, you know, there is you why. I love this cheese and also it's local to me. The very, probably the closest artisan cheese. It's just made in Oxfordshire and goat milk cheese. Um, in academy time, it's lactic, goat milk cheese, yeah. And when you taste it, we have in the academy structured uh, approach to cheese, tasting cheese. And then this cheese is really, really, have you, you know, Tracy, what it's like? Yeah, yes, I've, very... taste, I've, I've, I've tasted it and judged it at many of the events. I haven't actually got any with me today, so. Mm -hmm. When you taste it, Oh, well, actually, I have, if I don't know if you can see it, maybe Tracy, you can explain as a director of Academy. Structure. Oh, yeah. So this yeah, is our, yes, our, our structured approach to tasting cheese sheets, which mm -hmm. you can actually download from our website mm -hmm. if you want to. Um, and it's just a way of um, analyzing okay, cheese and grading cheese and really thinking hard about the cheese that you're tasting and looking after and um, it's a great, it's a great tool. Um, I'm just going to say the chat is disabled, apparently. I don't know how that's happened. I do apologise. But if there are any questions, do put them in the Q&A box, which is an alternative place. Yeah, that might say, yeah, um, yeah, come yeah. Fine. Yeah, okay. Sorry, so just go, yeah, conclusion, yeah, conclusion of this cheese is, this is a delicious cheese to start with. Everyone loves it. And then its uniqueness of this cheese is really creamy at first. And then my I say this little dry, moussey like it's really moussey and rich, milky, and also it has got like because it's lactic cheese, it has got lemony citrusy note as well. And then the finish is quite zesty as well. And then it really reminds me of cheesecake. <laughs> and then because complex, we call it complex flavor, it has got citrusy notes and then something like something like lemon. You would put lemon and then put maybe honey works. For me being Japanese, we've got something called yuzu. And then unfortunately, yuzu is at the moment out of season. Yuzu season is coming up maybe from the end of November and December. If people don't know what yuzu is like, yuzu is almost like lemon, but slightly sweeter and it's more rounded, less sharp. Can um, you show us on the jar, the picture that, of the yeah. jar? Because you've got- And then if you, yeah, if you, if you go to Asian, mostly in the UK, because user itself is becoming so popular, if you go to Oriental supermarket, you find these things. Yeah, yeah that one on, on, has got the picture of the yuzu. Yeah, yuzu. I used to work with some freeze-dried yuzu um, yeah. kind of when I was at Harvey and Brockless. And it was all, we always uh, pertained it a little bit to sherbet. Mm -hmm. So it's got yeah. that sherbet-y, like that fizzy. Fizzy, tangy. yeah. It, rather than Tangum. tangy, it is tangy. It and is I, tangy. To you, it's a little bit like grapefruit or marmalade. Grapefruit, yes, it's great. That's it's got grapefruit. a special, like yeah. special flavour, hasn't it? Yeah, but what we do is usually we call it yuzu honey, basically mixed up with just yuzu itself is finely chopped up and with yuzu juice, yuzu juice just from yuzu, yeah, and then mixed up with honey, but because these things are readily available, it's called yuzu jam, we dilute with hot water and drink it, but I thought it oh, was really... You didn't yeah. tell me that, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. That's why you need a big jar. Basically, just beat <laughs> it, uh, and then dilute with just in the mug, and then drink it. And it that's really, really it's like nice. a hot story in this country. Yeah. If we were into just hot, yeah. But anyway, so just you know downhill and 
put I put here. So the Cynodon Hill with the Yuzu jam. Jam and then put in. If you Tracy, if you've got lactic cheese, I'm I'm sure that equally it works. You know, Saint Jude also young Saint Jude really works well with this. Saint Jude, then, yeah. Saint Jude, yeah, lactic young one, young side of it because young one has got really lemony citrusy flavor. Yeah. I'm just loving it on its own, to be honest. As well, I shouldn't say that, should I, as a cheap person? <laughs> <laughs> I just love the idea of having it with hot water as a drink. Mm. Um, but no, it is really lovely. How is yeah, it so, Singleton Hill? No, Hill. It's almost like you are creating cheesecake in your mouth. Oh, <laughs> cheesecake. Yeah, you do cheesecake. Want that. Yeah, I want so that. it was. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, the why it works is for personally, yes, use the jam itself is really tasty and it's lovely. But if you eat it with cinnamon here, it's really, really nicely mingled because richness and jamminess of user jam also well balanced. So now I've got ash coated, same goat cheese, same style, and those done. It's like just I've got quarter chunk here. So the ah, Dawson from the fantastic Charlie at that, New York. Yeah, your friend. Favorite. Yes, <laughs> my Charlie. Yes. Yeah, and then equally, I love this Dawson. And you tend to think they are quite similar cheese mm. in a way because the same make, academic town, post make the same. Yeah. Yeah, but the, the only difference is ash coated and also. Um, milk is different, goat milk, but the breed is, I believe, breed is totally different. And yes. then because it's ash coated, if you taste this dough stone. I've got a cheese, Dazel Ash, which is also yeah. coated in edible ash from, edible um, mm. yeah, it's from Rosary Goat's Cheese. And so, actually, yeah. what the yuzu is doing to the yuzu, I've got it with the yuzu jam, and mm. what it's doing to that is actually making it quite meaty. Mm. Quite some Bring meaty, up. brothy flavors on it. Yeah. And then, if you eat the dosan itself, mm. especially after uh, Sinodan Hill, you start really. Feels like almost like mineral note. It's kind of, maybe it's coming. It's coming from us, but how they make or just milk. I don't know how they make, but almost like towards the end of it, milkiness. It has definitely has got milkiness, and then it's very clean and almost like a bit of seaweed ish for me. Oh, okay, yes, from yes. the rind. Yes, so from that's line, line, from, okay. Mm. But also, mouthfeel is totally different from Synodyne Hill. It's those stone is mouthfeel is slightly lighter. So if you put user jam, it's a bit used because user jam itself is overwhelm uh, jammy, so it starts overwhelming those jam. So you stop. It still all works well, but you stop feeling tasting the those stone in a way. Those stone has got mineral no. Uh, uh, Lactic acidity, uh, um, lactic and also citrusy note as well, mm. but somehow less rich. Do you say mouthfeel is less creamier in a way compared to it's more like lighter. So, user flavor still works, I think, because the dostum has got uh, lemony flavor as well. So, I think you, Chris, you've got user sake. I've got some yuzu sake. Uh, sake. Yeah, yeah. I've just had a sneaky sip before. Mm. Um, I it's have just, to make something yeah. roast for seven people. So it, this is good for cutting through the palate, um, collecting the palate even. Yeah. And then it's nice, lemony, but lemony, but slightly sweeter, citrusy note, and the grapefruit as well. Really and beautiful. It really, mm. I really like that. I haven't tried it with my um, Dazel Ash. Have you mm. tried it with your doorstone? Doorstone, yes. And then all of a sudden you start feeling more like just a milkiness of doorstone. It opens up the milkiness of doorstone. Mm. Mm. It creates even more sherbet in the mouth. Mm. But it's not That's stunning. That's stunning. Not... How would you drink that um, 
the yuzu sake would you normally have that chilled or room temperature or would you warm? chilled usually chilled yeah. or room temperature but uh, abv is slightly lower than normal sake if you look i'm not sure if you looked at it it's only eight percent this one but depends on which use sake use sake you are drinking there are all sorts of use sake but all use sake has got good strong yeah, it's 8%. About with so 8%. It's stunning. It's really right? nice. Mm, you know, it's a really lovely palate cleanser. Do they, palate they cleanser. use that in Japan as a palate cleanser? Yeah, yeah palate cleanser. You use the sorbet as a palate cleanser. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Mm. And you also have also um, kindly sent me from your hometown, I think, um, in Japan, some green tea. Ah, yeah, yeah, green tea. And then because a green tea, well, some people already know, I'm sure just the ash coated goat cheese, because of just merely a bit of meaty savoriness comes from rind, usually. It works well with a green note of green tea, if you see what I mean. And green yeah. tea, especially Japanese green tea, Sencha style, if you drink it, yeah, I've got it here. Sorry. I've got it in my Academy of Tea. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, I didn't know that such a thing exists. Well, they don't. <laughs> my my family bought me this for Christmas, so we had it specially made. <laughs> oh, that's why I didn't know. Yeah, and then mm, it's that's good. really and it's nicely cleanses your mouth as well. It does. That's yeah, really nice actually. It's really mm. good. Mm. Mm. I, I like oh, this. this. Look, hmm? That's got a little. That take has got a little bit of salty seaweed and enough so, not yet yeah. about it so, yeah. green tea is especially center has got uh, a bit of strange thing is just it's green tea just tea but has got a bit of umami seaweedness mm. Mm. and then mm. it brings out those stones how those stones flavor as well but at the same time it cleanses as well nicely it just matches and yeah. whereabouts are you in Japan are you where which region of Japan are you from originally? Because I know that your mum and dad um still live in Japan, don't they? Mm, yeah. Yeah, but I've mo all of my family are living in Japan. <laughs> 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 yeah. So down south, there are four main islands in Japan, and then down south it's called Kyushu, and then basically it's the center of the Kyushu, it's called Kumamoto. I'm from there, and then part of that island, they're producing good green tea it's one of the tea make tea producing region ah okay it's yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah so yeah so this thing work i hope people are just uh, trying but yeah green tea it's yes. a bit but yeah mm. let us know in the q a if you're um if you're yeah. if anybody's got any of these and are trying them along with us yeah. that would be really yeah. lovely to know and let us yeah. know your opinions and do ask questions yeah and then use the flavor uh sorry use this use the sake and again same as user jam if you go to a oriental supermarket now it's becoming popular so quite widely available if you look around okay, okay. yeah yeah and usually just a different look just yellowish liquid, usually. <laughs> and, and look how much you've already drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Why, well, it's so nice. <laughs> yeah, no. so just a cleanse palette. It's kind of just afternoon tea theme is going on as well. So a green tea and green tea and cheese, you, we never think about it, but it's just, I think, and also warmth of the tea. Yes, oh, yes. melt cheese nicely because those are is slightly dry, um, dry mouthfeel as well. Yes, I yeah. think the one you've got there looks quite young mm. as well. Looks very fresh. Fresh, yes, it's fresh. Quite, quite, quite young, but still, but it, 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 it still hasn't got much breakdown is happening. But yeah, quite fresh and then. Mm, young nice. One. I like them like that because yeah. those two can go quite um, mm. uh, mouldy on the outside. Can't like, they? But, um, mm. I quite like the young ones, like you. Mm. It's quite refreshing as well. And then just even just if you have a green tea and it's really refreshing as well, same as use the tea. Uh, use the, sorry, use the sake. <laughs> it's flavor sake. 
So where yeah. are we going next? We've got to keep on track. We've got 10 minutes. 10 left. minutes. 10 minutes. Oh, wow. Okay, 10 minutes. Yeah, okay, I have to wrap it yeah. 30 minutes a slot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Right, okay. Uh, it's called Grace Bar. Uh, it's made in, I would just, I think it's made in Essex, Sussex. Yeah, they're the Blackwoods Cheese Company. Oh, okay. uh, no, sorry, it's Kent, made in Kent. Yeah, fantastic. You know, yeah, it says, yeah, you often, this nice dairy, you often see these, and not only cheese shop, uh, nice dairy, delis has yeah. got grace fun. And it looks like this, and then it's cow's milk card, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, card. it's like a better style, isn't it? Better style, and then, yeah, yeah. and then, it's card, cheese, but card. And then as soon as I saw this, it just reminds me of tofu. Ah, tofu, yes. Tofu, yeah, popular. tofu, tofu popular. But tofu is also bean card. If people don't know what tofu is, basically just card as well. It's made from beans, soya beans. Soya beans, isn't it? Yeah, meant to be, yeah. And I'm all, I always miss tofu. But this really reminds me of yeah, tofu. And then you, when you eat it, it's also just like freshness. It's not aged. It's fresh, in the way feta style, fresh cheese. You yeah. can feel freshness of milk, but it's marinated in oil. Uh, I think it's rapeseed oil and it also- rapeseed, yes. Yeah, it's rapeseed oil. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. and gar garlic and yeah, and texture. And then I wondered, what it would it be like to eat as if I was eating tofu? Yeah. And then I made it just you've got sweetened miso. Ah, which is this product yeah. here, isn't it? Yeah, uh yes, yeah, sweetened in miso. It's just a ready, yes, yeah. Yeah, you can find these things in supermarket now because miso itself is becoming really popular in the UK. So people easily find these, but being Japanese, I always make miso myself. And then miso itself is now readily available anywhere in the UK now, but we don't eat miso as it is because it's too salty. It's condiment we use for cooking, but what we do is sweeten. Ah. So what, yeah. And then, okay. yeah, and then you put anything just, you can use vegetable dip, anything. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's love, I love, I love the savouriness of it. Savouriness. And then just the grace bar is really milky cheese. Mil very milky, but it's because it's marinated in the oil and the garlic. It has the flavour of herbaceous flavour as well. And then a bit of saltiness. But that's basically what I'm doing is adding. Yeah, what I do is So what adding, would you do if you had some bread or a cracker? Would you spread a little... Yes, little... that's what I was going oh, well, all. <laughs> yeah. Ah, tell me how you would serve it. Serve it is this flavor works at first if you eat it as it as it is like this. It works, but also spread this sweetened miso and then spread thin thinly sliced toast uh, bread and then lightly toast it and then spread the, the sweetened miso and then crumble the grace bun on top and then grill it. Oh, nice. Or if it's in summer, have you heard about shiso, Japanese herb? No. Shiso. And now I would wrap up with shiso, but now it's out of season again, just I don't have any of it. So but you could become... use the miso a little bit like a chutney. Chutney, like, yes. Exactly, like the yeah. people in the UK would use as a chutney, but maybe not as much. Much. Yes, it's like, yeah. Yeah. And the best way is maybe thinly sliced toast and then the spread by use sweetened miso and the crumble the uh, grace bun and then lightly grill it and they eat it it's kind of just oriental flavor bruschetta kind of thing yes a really yeah. lovely bruschetta yeah That's bruschetta, bruschetta. yeah I'm and then uh, yeah because miso is yeah sweetened it creates just golden triangle we say umami saltiness and sweetness Vanessa is asking, um, yep. Hanako, Vanessa is asking, how yep. do you sweeten the miso? Okay, just uh, you, you, you buy miso and then put, well, the easiest way is add sugar and then sake, pour in sake, and then stir it on a low heat and thicken it. 
Okay. Yeah, love them. But you sent me this pack. So this miso tasty has been yeah. sweetened with yuzu. Yeah, yeah. It? So we call it neri miso, and then now neri miso is ready made neri miso. We call it sweetened miso. It's available in the UK. So if you come, because that to make for yourself, and then just go somewhere. Now, why would you put the sake in it then? So you put the sugar. Why would you put the sake in? Yeah, so that it's the uh, 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 sweetness is just uh, nicely diluted into the miso properly. Okay. Yeah, it's easier because miso is really quite hard in it, in a way. Okay. But soluble in liquid liquid. And the other uh, question Rachel is asking: Would you use white or dark miso? Uh, I think dark works better. When you, yeah. if you've, you make it, I've got dark here, and it's yeah, the yours is dark one. Well. Yeah, yeah. Right, we need to crack on because we've got crack on. Yeah, okay. So we've, cheddar. Sorry. Yeah, that's, that's a cheddar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you've got, um, sorry, yeah. go ahead. Yeah, okay. Ch cheddar, cross bun cheddar. Okay, Tracy, pour your sake kindly. This is Welch's import kindly sub sponsored sake, and this is my one of my favorite and the, the best sake for cheddar, I would imagine. And then yeah, I have that. Just, yeah, and then have it get the aroma. Can you smell lactic? No. Can you smell some sort of just lactic flavor? And yes. Then, yeah. yeah. Woody note and a bit of nuttiness. Yeah. Yes. This yes, is yes. style. It's almost like you are talking about cross bun cheddar. Yeah. And that's what we've put it with, haven't we? I've got some pitchfork from pitchfork. Yeah, Brothers. I have pitchfork. Yeah, yeah. So put pitchfork. Mm. Which which flavor will you get from? Excuse me, slurping. Mm. That really brings out the nuttiness. Mm. It really gives it a to mm. me. In yeah. my palate, it I would, yeah. brings out some it, nutties, nuts, yeah. nutties, some nuttiness, some almost nuts. like pop nuts. Yeah, yeah. pop nuts. Really yeah. lovely. Definitely lovely. And then this is just, and also this in, in the sake category, this is such a robust, full body sake. Yeah, it's really nice to stand up with robust cheese like cheddar. And tell me the story because um, yeah. it's. World Sake Imports sell it, but it's made by, tell, tell us about that quickly. Yeah, so this is a romantic story. It's just made, the master brewer of this sake is actually surprisingly British person or English from English person from Cornwall. And he is the master of brewer of this. And then also this style is very, very classic, traditional style of sake. That's why, um, yeah. Has such a robust, powerful flavor, but uh, I, yeah, we are running out of time. Well, uh, Vanessa, like... can I just ask? There's another question. Vanessa is asking, "What is the name of the sake, please?" Take it. You uh, can pronounce it's... that. Not me. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, it's called the Tamagawa brand from Tamagawa and red label. English label is red Tamagawa. label. Red label. I'll write it in the chat. I'll write it in the Q and A, Vanessa. For yeah, you red as well. label. Uh, yeah, and its ABV is slightly higher than normal. Uh, just old average sake, which is twenty percent. But what good thing about this sake is, I wish I had time. But warm up, how you warm up is basically put the boiling water in it. I was going to show you, but quickly I will show you boiling water. And I appreciate you don't have, maybe just most of people don't have basco, but if you have milk jar. Yes. In, yeah, pour in sake. And then make sure the hot water in the pan is lower than 80 degrees. And then just put in, and the cupboard is boiled so that the aroma wouldn't go away. And then just about, 30 seconds and then just drink it and the sake tastes totally different, more rounded, tastes sweeter. Mm. And the mouthfeel is really becomes creamier as well. So it's so it's creamy all sake, isn't it? I love it. Okay. Yeah. We've so just got one time for one last question. 
Um, yeah. This would be, uh, besides goat cheese, what other sorts of cheese would you recommend to be consumed with green tea? Green tea. Mm. It has got a seaweed flavor, definitely works. Mm. Yes. Mm. I almost immediately goes green tea, ash coated, definitely ash coated goat cheese, ash coated cheese, usually I would yeah. go. But I mean, just this grace one, probably, I would imagine. Yeah. Mm. It goes mm. really well with the goat's cheese. I recommend it with that. But, uh, yeah, goat so cheese. Kanako, I'm so sorry. I know. We're <laughs> going to have to do a full academy webinar. It's a it. webinar, yeah. We have yeah. to go over now to Katie, who is um, going to start her, her next tour. But thank you so much. Oh, pleasure. Thank you like for having me. And amazing people. to try these different flavours with the flavors, different Flavours, yeah. Pieces. I hope people will just find the sake somewhere. Yes. <laughs> sake and, yeah. <laughs> sake and cheese are culture and culture. So. <laughs> yeah, and come and study with you to learn lots, lots more. But thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so we'll much. Yeah. See you soon. Okay, see you soon. Thank World you. Cheese Awards. <laughs> yeah. Take care. Yeah, Thanks, see you. Bye. Thanks everyone for joining. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Enjoy the rest of the program. <laughs> thank you. Bye, yeah. Kanako. Bye. Bye.